smoke when we, we all celebrate, celebrate success. success. So now we. Hey guys, so here we are, week three of the garage build. Looking very good. You'll see here, this is a railway sleeper that's forming a lintel above the uh, front door. This follows on from a theme that we've been doing in, inside the actual house. Um, every one of our door lintels is actually a railroad sleeper, or at least uh, one that's been sawed in half to, to act like a lintel. So that's just a nice little touch that's recycled uh, wood there. So let's have a look. What do we have going on here? Single garage, pretty much done. It's ready for the top slab to go on to build upstairs. There's the fuse box there. So you would come in the front door or through the garage, work your way upstairs. Now we have to stop uh, progress. The uh, slab that we're using is a, a prefabricated slab, um, which I would drop down and then they would fill with concrete uh, to make the cement roof for the garages, and then um, which would obviously then also form the uh, floor of upstairs. Now. That's still setting at the factory. We've had a very, very cold snap these last few days, last few weeks actually, and it's taking uh, unusually long to dry. So we have to wait a week and then we can actually start with upstairs. So yeah, we're looking very, very good. There's not much to uh, really explain. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Obviously, we're going to follow up this line here, straight up for upstairs. So um, that space under there, like I said, we'll have the wash basin over there. Probably some storage shelves will stack them up or a table at least with some drawers or something here. And then yeah, um, we'll have to make a plan. Um, I'm not sure about the height of these uh, windows. I'm pretty sure this is fine for a normal seated workbench. Um, I'm going to need to bring a chair in here and just see. It seemed a bit low. Um, Seem like we might be uh, below, you know, you know, sort of optimal workbench height, but I need to just uh, double check that. And yeah, we'll worry about this when the when the build is finished. But that's it for now, guys. Um, I'm very pleased with the progress. I'm sure, you can understand. Uh, after three and a half years of fighting with the Joburg City Council, I'm finally getting this thing built. So. We'll, uh, we'll touch base again next week. Looks like Sunday might be my optimal update, um, or at least upload window. There's all the bricks for upstairs. Um, so yeah, it'll give me the week and Saturday to at least uh, film something, or, or at least carry out the mini projects that I want to do. I've halted pretty much all work on the car. I had a lot of mini projects I wanted to finish, but I think once the, the workshop and the garage are finished, the car is back home from the panel beater and I, I can actually get set up. I think then we're going to carry on with stuff. So, like I say, I'm, I'm sorry guys, it's going to be a little bit boring for the guys expecting car updates. Uh, please bear with me. Um, we should be finished in September, mid-October, at a stretch, maybe uh, end October. So, um, at least then, you know, I can put pressure from about September on the, the panel beater to get my car finished. I do need to make uh, a turn around there just to uh, put a firecracker behind him and just get him going. But, um, yeah, I know that he's busy relocating to Mauritius, so I've been giving him some time to... Uh... Oh, this is actually two sleepers. That's interesting. Maybe that's just for strength because we're building above... Alright, I know that we have four more sleepers dotted around the garden, some that we're going to use. Um, I think they were busy being cleaned up. But uh, yeah, that's it for now guys. And I'm, I'm hoping, look, next week there won't be an update. Obviously, because we can't do anything until that top slab is in. So next weekend there's probably not going to be anything happening. I know the guys want to come here, they want to clean up the bricks and remove these half bricks. These are going to become paving, so they're going to sort through the broken bricks and... You know, there's a couple of good ones mi uh, mixed in here. Uh, we're going to have a paved driveway, not tar. Um, so I think they, they might want to start getting that ready. Um, oh, and someone emailed me a bit concerned about this. So you'll see the guys are starting to put a slope over there. 
this will be um, a less extreme slope for the driveway but we're not we're not going to have such a high pitch into the garage we're going to sort of move it out to about here so it'll be a nice sort of progressive drive up um, now if this garage was the same height as that one we might have had a problem here um, but you know obviously the the builder picked it up quite early and you'll see it's about three bricks three or four bricks height difference so um, he picked it up pretty early and as you can see the lintels at the top like he said despite dropping here these are completely level and um, yeah I'm quite happy that I'm quite happy for that change there's been one or two others um, but it, it's stuff internal and it's stuff upstairs that you guys don't don't really need to know about just yet you'll see when we can actually go upstairs I'll have something to show you there but uh, that's it for now guys I'm going to get this thing uh, cleaned up edited and uh, uploaded and I'm hoping hoping that we'll have some good news with this slab maybe it dries early and we can carry on but the guys reckon it won't be ready next week at all it's still literally it looks like uh, cement jelly which is um, unfortunate but thanks for watching guys um, like I say Twitter is probably the best place to get updates my, my link is in the description um, I'm trying to be more active on there just to keep you guys up to date the, the, the few guys have asked for for updates Thanks a lot to the guys sending me emails and suggestions. I really appreciate the feedback. Um, I'm going to try to put some of your suggestions into practice when the garage is built. And I might, it's a bit early now for the channel to have like a Q&A and, and that kind of thing. But we might do that once I'm over, say, a thousand subscribers. When there's actual um, stuff happening on the channel, then we, we might do a Q&A. It's a bit early right now, 30-something um, subscribers. But thanks very much, guys. And I'll touch base with you guys, if not next week, then the week after. Cheers for now. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more and be kept up to date, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram and subscribe to my channel. With your help we can get this project complete and move on to the next one. Bye for now. You guys are not going to catch that hose pipe no matter how hard you try. Jazz, what you doing on the pool guy? Look what you've done to my net, oh my god. Alright. Let me get this dog out the uh, out the pool and I'll touch base with you guys again when we have an update. Cheers guys.